Everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates with you, Taurus, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. All right, so let's have a look at the messages for you, Taurus. This is the time where you may need to be clear about your financial goals. I was just going to say that. Ace of Pentacles, Hangman. It looks like you have an idea or something on your mind that you're wanting to manifest or something that you're wanting to create. But some of you may be feeling a little bit stuck. Uh, there's also something legal coming up, maybe some sort of documentation, negotiation, something like that could come up. I see it going in your favor. Um, another thing I'm going to tell you is that you need to stop wasting your time on certain people or, you know, at times we are, you know, fighting for certain things, but we don't really realize that what we are fighting for may not even be worth it, you know? So let's see what message for you is going to show up here. We have Tulip, Great Passion. So this is about following your passion. Some of you could be into art. I feel like you're very like, you could be very attractive. Like I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who's like very attractive or you get a lot of compliments from people. basket recognition and reward for merit nice so spirit is saying you need to follow you will be shown the way you need to follow your passion here um taurus okay whatever you're passionate about okay um whether that be work hobby whatever it is okay and i feel like as you follow that as you follow your inner light your guidance you will get recognition that you deserve and you will be shown the way. So it's like as you're going to be taking back control over your life, as you're going to be pursuing what you want to pursue, because Ace of Pentacles is something that has the potential of growth. So as you're going to be pursuing what you really, really want, you're going to attract, you know, the energies likewise. So... It's almost like you just have to get started with something and you will be shown the way. That is so interesting. All right, let's have a look at the messages for Taurus. Six of Swords is here with the chariot. Moving on. I see you moving on from something with the chariot. You're very determined to move forward. For some of you, you could also be planning to travel very soon or move. Taurus, just prepare yourself because with the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you're going to be celebrating a win very soon. Like you're going to be celebrating something related to your money situation. So we have we have here the Chariot and the Six of Swords. Something was hurting you. Something was painful. You may even have felt like it was pulling you in many different directions. But with the chariot, you're, you know, still showing up with, you know, a lot of determination here to move forward, to create, to take action. Okay. Yeah, with the five of swords, <laughs> that's the energy I picked up before as well. There are certain people around you who are not worthy of your time. You know, it's it's like fighting for petty stuff or feeding into crap, you know, that petty people bring into your life. You know, sometimes we do, you know, get in that energy of, oh, I'm going to give this person a taste of their own medicine. And we don't really realize that it's not really worth it, you know. Trusting your intuition, walking away. There's definitely a message here for you to walk away from something. And I feel like your intuition is guiding you towards it. 
And one more thing I'm going to warn you of is um, short-lived victory or like something that you do, you know, you make a hasty decision and you do it, but then you're like, oh, this kind of backfired. So be careful with that. Um, what's that five of swords? temperance now you need to give yourself some time you need to be patient okay um create some space give yourself some time you know You know, the temperance card also talks about surrendering to the divine or it's like out with the old, in with the new, but knowing that whatever you're desiring is going to come to you in its own timing. You know, there's really something here about your reading which speaks of hasty decision making and I would suggest you don't do it because I feel like the more you're going to be slow with your approach and follow your passion follow where you know the energy is guiding you because you are somebody very intuitive but you don't really uh trust your intuition much is what i'm also getting okay um so with the tulip and basket energy it's, it's time for you to wake up to something okay it's time for you to open up to something and the candle is some of you maybe love to light candles or you know something here about crystals candles you know the vibe that the temperance and the ace of pentacles is giving me it's it's giving me a vibe that you're desiring something and it's going to show up for you but not when you want it <laughs> not when you want it All right. So if there's somebody coming in your life who's bringing drama, chaos, and unnecessary crap, they got to go. Taurus does not have time for that, honey. We have the moon and the eight of wands. I heard in their feelings. Somebody's in their feelings when it comes to you and the whole situation with you. Eight of Wands, communication, forward movement. Like I said, uh, Taurus, I am seeing traveling, forward movement, uh, perhaps even communication coming in from somebody. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Taurus. What's the moon card? Page of Wands. Oh, yes. Somebody's in their feelings when it comes to you with the moon and the Page of Wands. There is like somebody's in your energy who feels like they don't know anything about you. So it could be a person you're not communicating with or you have kind of distanced yourself from them. This person kind of feels like you're not paying them a heed and, you know. Yes, it does look like you're seeming out of reach for this person. Okay. And it also looks like this person's not liking it. They're not liking it. So with the Page of Wands energy, there's going to be communication, forward movement. I also see you... Um, Trying something new, Taurus. Um, investing in something new. Maybe starting a new business, a new venture. Or, I don't know. Like, there's this energy here of you stepping outside your comfort zone. I really like it, though. Because Ace of Pentacles is something that has the potential of growth. Let's 
What is the challenge and advice for Taurus? Some of you may be struggling with your money or you feel like you're not where you are at money-wise. Um, and you would like to improve, which is fine, of course. We all want to do that from time to time, right? We all want to make sure that we're doing our best. Um, you may need to be careful with your spending habits, where you're spending money, okay? Mm, some of you need to also stop shopping online or something like that. You need to be careful with your spending habits, first of all, or with your money-related decisions. And secondly, there's something here of getting over insecure, uh, something here talking about getting over insecurities. And it's not that easy. It's not that easy, but these are the insecurities that you can have a look at, maybe even approach that with a mindful, um, maybe like look at a, a situation with a mindful approach. Eight of Pentacles, lovers. It keeps showing me that there is a lover or there's somebody around you who's wanting to work things out with you. Taurus, look at this. Okay. This, per this person kind of feels like you're avoiding them. You're not communicating with them. Okay. They may even be feeling like you're somebody who's out of reach, which is what I said before. And the moon card is representing their feelings towards you. All right, let's see. past life relationship you've known each other before there's a sense of familiarity between you and this person maybe it's hard to let go of this connection show me more deception you know the whole problem here is that this person doesn't open up about their feelings and you're kind of like in this energy that i am tired of chasing after somebody or making them accept their feelings for me you know or show, you know, having them show up for me however they should anyway. If that makes any sense. Let's see. Your guided message, a burst of magic. Number 48 could be significant for you or number 4 and 8 separately. There's also something here about a tulip, lily, like something here about flowers, okay? All right, so let's see. Some of you maybe love to garden and stuff. An epiphany, a sudden higher knowing, a sense that everything has a purpose, your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you, cultivating conscious contact with a higher power and coming to know what calls to you and lights you up. Be mindful today when information pops up out of the blue, pay attention. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom into your life. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed. Only good will come out of this. So, there's transformation on the horizon for you. But what you got to do here is also learn to pay attention to your intuition. You know, and especially if you're going through sudden realizations about certain things, certain people, certain energies... That's about it, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link in the description box below. Take care and bye-bye.